Hi, I'm Ted Bear. I'm the author of Communicating with Your Dog. Thanks for coming to my channel. I have links to all my videos down in the description section below. Make sure you check out the first video. It talks about how important it is to share a particular language with your dog. Occasionally I hear people that get a new dog say that they're going to send their dog off and have him trained. Well, if you want a dog that listens to you, you should participate in its training. You'll have limited success sending it off to get it trained. Behind every obedient dog is an owner that loves its dog and trains its dog. Rule number four is exercise patience. We all have patience to a greater or lesser extent. The more patience you have, the more success you'll have at dog training. People with little patience can still be successful just because of their great love for their dog. If you lack patience, just watch your training session. And if you feel like your patience is giving out and you're getting some anxiety, just stop. Come back to the training on another day. People say I'm very patient, but I enjoy teaching and playing with my dogs. I get a lot of positive feedback from working with dogs and from the people who see them. If you have trouble with your patience, just first remind yourself that it's probably your fault. Your dog just wants to please. It's a communication gap. Work on better communication and your training techniques. I think a lot of people training their dogs expect and ask too much from their dogs. Make a little progress in a training session and move on to another command where you do the same. Back when I worked with Tundra and I'd be teaching her a complex trick, I would break it down into many small steps. If you review the video montage of Tundra at the beginning of this video, you'll find her going over to a little box on the ground, turning around and backing into it like she was backing a car into a garage and then closing the door. Well, we had to break that down into many steps. That's a very complex trick. We had to teach her to go to the object and turn just in the right spot. We had to teach her to lie down and then back up in a down position. Instead of crawling forward, she's scooting backwards. Eventually, we had to teach her to pull on a strap to pull in that door. Well, let's just talk about that last section of the trick. We didn't just teach her to pull on that strap from a down position. We worked on her with a sock teaching her how to pull and then we transferred it and taught her to pull on different objects. Eventually taught her to pull in different positions like the sit position or the down position. If you lose your patience, end your training session quickly on a positive note and come back to training her later. Get calm and then think about it a little bit on how you confused your dog or what you should be doing better. Your dog loves you and wants to please you. Be patient. Please subscribe to this channel. It benefits everyone, especially your dog. And check out my other videos.